All right. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Full timers, we are here with another one. So in this video right here, we're going to be talking about downloading and extracting your expansions. That way, when you're in standalone mode, you have everything that you need and you ready to roll, baby. You ready to go. No computer needed, right? All right, y'all. So we're on a computer. What I'm going to be doing in this video is going over the three file types that you can run into when dealing with expansions. All right. So let's take a look at the three different file types. The first one is going to be a standalone folder. And the reason I know this is because when I double click it, it lets me see all the files that come with it. Right. So what this means, what I would do with a folder, all I would do is literally copy and paste that folder onto my live two. SD card that I or whatever drive you're using as you see it's already there these keys too So I don't have to do that again. So this is used primarily for standalone use now the next two deal with the MPC software, right? But we're going to deal with this this one right here first the dot XPN file the dot XPN file has to be Imported into the software itself. So you can't double click it because watch what happens when I do What does it tell me MPC project failed to load all right let me close this out what i have to do literally is like i said import it by dragging and dropping it into the software all right so i dragged it into the software and i imported it and it's letting me know that uh it's been imported and it's uh or it's already been installed so that's okay <laughs> so as you see these keys too is already here i've already imported it so i'm good to go right now, the next file type that you can deal with is a .package or a .exe, which is extension for Windows. Uh, what you literally have to do is install it. This file type is a desktop installer, right? Uh, you literally install them. I don't have to do this again. I already have it done. But these two file types can also be put on an SD card. I'm not saying that all of them can, but some of them allow you to uh, export them on the SD card, all right? So what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. So this this is where new skills is right here. And this is where these keys is right here. So what I'm gonna do is go to tools in the software, right? Then I'm gonna go to expansion manager. Expansion manager shows me where all of my expansions that are installed on the software, where they're located, right? And it tells me all the details, what type of file type they are. But I'm trying to put these on an SD card. So what I have to do is click export. I'm gonna click export. Then this window pops up, which is the export expansion to standalone MPC uh, window. Now, it gives you the destination. Now, you choose whatever drive you want it to be on. I want mine to be on a live too. Then you're going to go down to expansions right here. And you're going to find the expansions that you want to put on your SD card of your choice, right? So I want to use these keys too and new, sc new skills. I already have them on there. What I would do next if I didn't would be to click export and those files are going to be labeled underneath my expansion folder which is as we go to expansions right here these keys too and where's new skills that got a lot of files on here right there boom good to go so those are on there so now you guys know how to deal with uh downloading and extracting expansions for use in standalone mode so i hope this video was helpful uh, if you guys have any questions about that definitely let me know all right, so the next thing I'm going to go over is just some recommendations, some places where I get uh, my expansions from. All right, so let's see what we got. Of course, the first place I go to is a Kai Pro. Uh, of course, if you're looking for expansions, go to Products, MPC Series. Then go to MPC Expansion Packs, as you see. This is where they have all of their expansions at. It's definitely a good place for sure. Look like it's going to take a little minute to load up. I'm not... Oh, look at that. Boom, we done... We <laughs> He loaded up fast, baby. All right, so we got Soul Provider 3. I'm going to check them out. Uh, Snipe Young, uh, Pure Platinum. Then we got Soul Vocals. Now, keep in mind, y'all, don't do what I did, right? Thinking I finessed the game. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I got this for $9. Man, look, y'all, my screen had got stuck like this. You know, they say reading is fundamental. Uh, fundamental. I clicked this. Didn't even see the NPC Beats Edition. I clicked this. I was like, ooh, that thing, $9.99. Man, I was too happy. I clicked purchase. Still didn't read, man. NPC Beats Edition. I was too drove. I was hot. I was definitely hot. But it's okay, man. Players mess up, too. Players mess up, too. Let me close that out. But remember, stay up here. 
It's where you want to be. It's where you want to be, right? <laughs> All right. And the next place is NPC Samples. They got some good expansions. I just purchased the uh, NPC Instrument Collection. I will be doing a review on that, y'all. Hey, that mug is nice, man. It really got some fire in it. I'm not going to lie. The only one I didn't kind of like was uh, the NPC Horn. It's kind of corny. But other than that, man, they got some good stuff here. Definitely check them out for sure. I'm probably going to end up getting that NPC analog with them too. All right, another place that you guys saw in the video uh, was these keys too. This is where I got it from, so100.com. Man, they got excellent uh, expansions. If you guys are on the fence about trying them out, man, get that pay it for. It's only a dollar. I guarantee you're going to end up buying more like me. Um, I'm probably going to end up buying all of his, all of his expansions, uh, all of their expansions, man, at the top of the line, like very lush pads, sounds, flutes, and strings. So if you're looking for something and you like working a standalone like me, man, check out so100.com. They're definitely good. So the next place, it isn't native for Akai. I go to, you know, native instruments because I used to be a machine user. I still like the way machines drums sound. I think they pretty much got some of the best drums in the game right now. But now I notice that a lot of the same sound producers like MSX Audio and Snipe Young, they also they're they're also doing things for Akai like Soul Magic, Crate Cuts. I'm not sure about Crate Cut, but I know um Soul Magic was done for uh well done by MSX Audio. Let's see, it should let me know. I don't think this one was done by them this time. I know I'm scrolling kind of fast. Nah, I don't see it. I don't see it on this one, y'all. But uh let me go back. So not Crate Cuts, y'all. But Soul Magic. Definitely got it right there. Boom. So keep in mind, these are machine expansions. I'll show you how to convert them in another video, how I put them on there, and also how I put the picture on there. It's a super simple process. I use a program called Kitmaker. Uh, I'll link that in the description as well. And last but not least, of course, is Splice. So if you guys are looking for royalty-free sounds for pretty much any genre, definitely go check out Splice. And if you guys are looking for a real authentic bass sound, man, go to Corey Wong's uh, Splice Pack and download the one shots that he has and some of the, the bass loops if you guys like them. I'm just waiting for it to, to load up. All right, so yeah. So Corey Wong's uh, fourth position funk, man, got some stuff up in there that's fire. Fire, 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 fire. Definitely check that out. I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, but that pretty much wraps up the video. So if you guys have any other comments, questions, concerns, and things you want to know, definitely put them down there in the description below. Uh, but other than that, baby, <laughs> we full time. And we about to what? <laughs> put in some work. Uh, I'm about to go try out this NPC uh, instrument collection over here from um, NPC samples. Man, I can't believe I paid them. $34. I did it. I did it, dog. This is the same people that do the uh, NPC bobbles. But other than that, I'm out, man. Y'all stay up, baby. Let's go.